Congressman Pascrell, you know, was involved from the beginning. I remember him calling me in mid-January to let me know how concerned he was about this facility. Uh, the equipment room where the uh, crew would put on their protective equipment was in there. Here is where the, uh, the chemicals were located. So I'll put it down this way. I mean, you wouldn't want to be here too long. <laughs> Forget about the, uh, the, the smells. Uh, but this, the, the barrels themselves were scruffy and you didn't know what the heck you were looking yeah. into at the time. Some had no names, no... Uh, well, most, most of them were unknowns. Well, what was the most volatile chemical here? I mean, there are a number of them, but well, what, what would you say was the most? The most dangerous, I think, was the nitrocellulose. We found two drums of nitrocellulose, which is a shock-sensitive explosive material uh, that could spontaneously combust uh, at certain temperatures. A lot of people use the words taking time bombs. But this truly was a ticking time bomb unless we removed all these chemicals. They were working in a very dangerous situation. That's why uh, it's no exaggeration, no hyperbole when I salute our fire department. This was very dangerous, this, this building. And they cleaned it up without any problems, without any uh, incidents. This was cleaned up in quick time, cutting through the red tape.